And the video we've all been waiting for, here's Ballistics Gel. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make it. First thing you're gonna need, two eight ounce boxes of unflavored gelatin, hydrogen peroxide, slotted spoon, pair of scissors. You need a bowl to put all the gelatin in because you gotta cut it out of the packets and put it all in one place. So the proportions are gonna be for every one ounce of gelatin, you need one cup of water. You gotta use the coldest water possible. So the first four cups of water that I use is ice water. The colder your water is, the less clumps you're gonna have to deal with. Don't listen to the guys that say it has to be hot water. You'll have clump after clump after clump. I watched a million and one videos on how to do this and put all the best stuff together to make this recipe. So with my recipe, I subtract one cup of water and use one cup of hydrogen peroxide. So I use 15 cups of water and one cup of hydrogen peroxide. Seems to work great for me. I've made three so far and they've all worked fantastically. Take all these individual packets out one at a time. This is the part that sucks. Open it up. Put every single one of these packets in this bowl. All 64 of them. Yeah, that's the fun part. Once you got all the packets open and all of it in one place, then you go ahead and start adding it to your ice cold water. First, I start with my ice water, four cups. Now I'm gonna put in the rest. All right, so I got 15 cups of ice water in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna stir all this until the water is nice and cold and all the ice chunks are melted. Now all my ice chunks are completely gone and the water is nice and cold. Just start adding the gelatin slowly into your ice cold water and keep stirring until all 16 ounces of the gelatin is in the mixture of peroxide and water. Let's get ready to make ballistic gel! Here we go, that was a lot of fun. Take your slotted spoon and start stirring that water. Get it moving. As you got it moving, just start adding the gelatin slowly, just like this. Little by little by little into that nice cold water, just like that. See how I'm sprinkling it in there? Just keep that water going and keep that gelatin dumping. And this stuff's gonna turn out great. Don't put in too much gelatin at once, cause it'll clump, guys. And if you use a mixer, you're gonna have lots of bubbles. That's why I recommend using a slotted spoon. Whew. I've got no clumps in that. As you can see, I've got it all mixed up and there's hardly any bubbles in there. The ice cold water and the slotted spoon, steady drop it in and steady stir, works out great. This mixture goes into the fridge to start blooming. Some people say two hours, I say keep it in there overnight if at all possible. So I'm gonna go to bed and let this thing bloom overnight. Six to eight hours later in the fridge and it's done blooming and it looks like apple sauce. Don't worry, it's supposed to look like that. So now it's time to put it in the double boiler. I don't have a double boiler, so I got a pot of water boiling in a four liter Pyrex mixing bowl. I'm gonna make myself a double boiler. Let that start to get hot. Then I start mixing in the bloomed gelatin right into the double boiler. You have to use a double boiler, because if you don't, it'll scorch the gelatin and it won't mold the way you want it to. Just put in about half of your mixture in there. Start mixing it up until it turns into a nice consistency of hot syrup. Give a little hit of cooking spray. Once it gets the consistency of hot syrup, take it and put it in the mold that you're gonna be putting in the refrigerator. Here's my mold I'm putting in the fridge. Make sure you're careful, cause it is hot. Dump it right in. Then go ahead and finish off the rest of your applesauce mix until you have all of your gelatin in your mold. Finish off the rest, make it the consistency of hot syrup, then get it in your mold. Make sure you stay with it and keep stirring because otherwise you're gonna deal with having a big lob in the middle that's not boiling down to hot syrup style. No more applesauce left in there, just hot syrup, baby, come on. Time to put it in the mold. Make sure you got something to keep your hands from getting burnt. Into the mold she goes. If you got a few bubbles like this, it's real simple to fix. Here's what you do. Let me show you. Take you a spoon. I take the paper towel and I'll stick it down in there. I try to scoop all the bubbles towards one side like this. Now, everybody's probably got their own method, but this works for me. And then I just take my spoon, put it in there, get rid of them bubbles just like that. Take your lid and put it on into the refrigerator for 24 hours. 
Make sure you got a wife approved section in the fridge to put your mold in. If you're a lady out there making this gel, that's awesome. You ain't gotta ask your husband. Put that gel in there to harden. I guarantee you he's gonna love you for it. Now take your mold and put it in the fridge. Don't spill it, this stuff stinks. <laughs> After 24 hours, pull it out and check it out. Check this out. Solid. Get it loose from the sides and boom, shakalaka. You got yourself some ballistics gel. You can make as much of it as you want for as big a mold as you want. See how you can see my finger through there, through the bottom? Here's the front. Here's the back. See how you can see my finger? You can definitely see a wound channel in this puppy. Store it in the refrigerator until you're going to use it. If you want to support us, you can go to Patreon and become a part of the fellowship or the fellowship of the giggity. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do it. And that's all there is to it, folks. Follow the recipe. It'll work every time.